aquaculture, also known as aqua farming, is the farming of fresh and saltwater organisms involving the population of plants and fish in a controlled condition. It was started long ago by the Mayan Indians. Over half the fish consumed by humans comes from aquaculture. Aquaculture can be thought of as a repeating cycle. Before the cycle can begin, a proper fishery must be produced. The first step involves catching young fish and organisms from our streams and oceans. The next step is to place the fish in the specified fishery. This destination is where the crop can be expected to grow and eventually be harvested. While in the fishery, the fish are hand-fed controlled amounts of food such as fish pellets. This food contains ingredients that help the fish grow. Plants can also be harvested on top of the fisheries. They feed off of the bacteria that is produced by the fish underneath. There are many benefits to this process. Decrease in foreign dependency, fewer transportation and fuel costs, and faster food turnaround are only a few of the several advantages. Not only can fish be produced, but also fruits, vegetables, and shellfish. The most commonly produced shellfish today are oysters. Aqua farming is also eco-friendly. The production of man-made tanks and greenhouses decreases the pressure on wild fisheries. And because fisheries can be built in your backyard, health and money conscious people can have a way to eat fresh fish they desire in a cost-effective way. It also provides job opportunities. The effects of aquaculture are tremendous and serve as the reason why growing fish in a controlled environment has become so important. Under these conditions, the organisms seem to grow faster and double in weight and size, making them more valuable. By producing them faster, the fisheries can keep up with the demand. Fish oil is used in the production of poultry, vitamins, and dog food. There are also some negative effects to fish farming. Wild fisheries suffer due to the lack in large fish feeding. Because farm fishing is growing so rapidly, ocean fishing is seeing a downfall. Some feel that unnatural fisheries are overstocked and have an unfair advantage. Also, the algae which grows in the ocean is not reducing the way it should, potentially causing environmental problems for the future. This brings us to the hazards of farming. Sometimes the fisheries get crowded due to the uneaten feed, fish waste and antibiotics which are released by the fish inside. This creates high levels of oxygen in the water, which in turn kills the fish and other organisms. Farmers must also understand the dynamics of the fish food chain and come as close to their natural food as possible. For example, shrimp and salmon need to feed on other fish, such as sardines and mackerel, to survive, but instead farmers may feed them their man-made feed. Overflow is also a problem. It seeps into nearby ponds, streams, and rivers. If a garden is planted next to the fisheries, humans then become exposed to the pollutants. Disasters such as oil spills can be detrimental to aquaculture. The fish are closed in an area with no way to escape, so all progress is lost. It is often best to use small-scale aquaculture so that the control of the farm is easily obtained. This can be seen in the practice in Maui. They take pride in their harvesting to create the best farm-raised fish possible, along with some healthy fruits and vegetables. In North Carolina, a group of 4-H girls were introduced to aqua farming to learn how to live off the land. It is important to pay close attention to both positive and negative effects of aquaculture on the environment. It is also imperative that regulations are in place for farmers and are followed to help sustain the ecosystem. Doing this will help protect the population on the land 
and in the sea, and ultimately, planet Earth. Thank you.